It's that time of year again when the big bats come out to play at Gowdy Field. We are ambassador of the United States Army. We're looking forward to a great team this year, great attitude, great young team. We have an average age of 29 years of age, uh, the youngest team I've ever had in eight years as a coach. And I got a good feeling that uh, this team is going to represent the Army well. This is probably one of the better defensive teams that the Army has had in a long time. 25 soldier athletes traveled from across the world to Fort Benning to try out for the men's all-Army softball team but only 15 will make the cut. I'm trying to teach them how to control their emotions, how to be able to become a teammate of a level of discipline and also you know, improve their ability because they're a very good ball player, but we always can improve. Fort Benning is the perfect spot for the All-Army program to be here. We get treated with the best of respect here with the staff from Fort Benning and all the coaches here. Making the team gives these soldiers an opportunity to show off their skills and compete at a high level in the upcoming All Armed Forces softball tournament. This right here is a huge morale builder as far as soldiers from coming down range, being in Afghanistan and Iraq. This is a huge Pick up. It gives them a recharge from being deployed down there. It gives us soldiers things to look forward because the MWR supports us really well and it's our way of uh, giving back and actually having the challenge of playing the other services. The All-Army team will leave Fort Benning with their spirits and bats held high as they move on to the week of competitions down in Pensacola, Florida to represent America's Army. The Armed Forces Championship, you go all there and represent your Army. We are going to win the gold this year. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.